Hey guys, Chris here with Coastal Steel Structures, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over nine things that can and will impact the cost of your steel building. Number one, permit and code compliance. This one gets people every time. Your building department should be the very first stop you make before you plan on purchasing a steel building. Number two, site work. Bring dirt in, take dirt out, geotechnical survey, clearing of the land, hiring a civil engineer to make your site plan. Number three, footers and foundation. Most steel building manufacturers will only provide you with column reactions and an anchor bolt plan layout detail. You will need to account for the anchor bolts, foundation design, material, and labor costs. Number four, design criteria. Size of your building, width, length, roof pitch. Are you gonna put gutters and downspouts? What other types of components are you gonna have? Ridge vents, louvers. How many framed openings do you plan on putting in your building? How many walk doors? Are you gonna be removing the X bracing from the walls and going to an upgraded wind system? Number five, insulation. Nine times out of 10, it's a must. Number six, interior cost, the finishing work the plumbing, electrical, paint. Are you gonna have to hire an architect? Number seven, erection. The building price usually does not include this. Expect to pay anywhere in the range of four to five dollars per square foot to get this done. Number eight, market forces. There are several market forces which can influence the price of steel, including oil, which is arguably the biggest. Other factors, if the steel was imported or made right here in America, these can and will influence the price of steel. Number nine, taxes. The house always wins. If you're not tax exempt, expect to pay taxes.